how can a reverse course launch help an existing business, maybe a new, um, and then maybe a seasoned business, you know, like four years, I'm four years now, um, and okay. up from there. Work with me on that. Yeah, absolutely. That's a, that's a great question. And I, the, the, where I think I want to start is to back up and talk about webinars because a reverse course launch is essentially a webinar. Um, it's a okay. fancy word and it's, it's a sort of a, a, <clears throat> a little bit of an inverted concept, but so one of the things that I did last at the end of 2021 was I launched my third digital course via a webinar. I'd never done that before. Webinars were, were always kind of like, oh, that seems so next level. It seems so confusing. Do I have all the right software and all that? And the good news is, is that webinars are not hard to do at all, especially if you use a tool like Kajabi, for example. Um, which both uh, Denzel and I use, but you right. don't have to use any specific tool. You can do a webinar, you know, with very, very basic tools. So don't let the tools get in the way of the concept. So the concept of a webinar is basically where you're taking something that you teach, maybe your one-to-one -one private coaching students or something, uh, a concept or a group of concepts that you teach to your audience on a regular basis and you have some sort of um, you know special event that you put in place that they have to register for. Um, usually with a webinar, there's an offer at the end of it. There are a couple of different ways to do webinars as well. Uh, I'm a fan of hard didactic teaching webinars rather than, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what you need to know and I'm gonna kind of dance around the topic, but then you have to buy my course uh, to get the how-to. You know? So what I like to do and what I recommend you do with your webinars is actually do hard didactic teaching. And then that allows you to offer the value to your audience and, and basically uh, you know gives them the opportunity to see what it is that you're teaching. And then if they wanna buy your offer, maybe it's one of your digital courses or maybe it's a coaching package or uh, a bundle of digital courses. There are a lot of different ways that you can do an offer at the end of your webinar. Um, but a webinar is basically something that I, dis I recently sort of discovered and decided to implement. So there is that piece the next level of a webinar is what's called a reverse course launch and a reverse course launch is really nothing more than you taking the material that you're teaching which you're basically teaching and in my case I did a mini course I taught a mini course live okay and so what you're doing is you're getting all of the elements of that set up uh, as you would in a regular webinar but you're giving them the opportunity to purchase the recordings before during and after the webinar itself so there's a little there are machinations in there, but that's the overall concept just to not get, you know, so people don't get um, overwhelmed by that. So it's basically a reverse course launch is a webinar where you're teaching the course, mini course or full course live. Uh, for example, I just did my start an online business uh, mini course, which was launched. You know, I launched that as a reverse mini course about three weeks ago. It was three and a half hours of hard didactic teaching. And then I offered the recordings to my audience, you know, each lesson plus a Q&A after each lesson, all cut up into a mini course that they can access and, you know, in, uh, in, in re you know, wherever they have internet, ac internet access and consume it as a mini course. So that's the, the wow. overarching concept of a, of a reverse course launch. Gotcha, so it's, let's use me for example. I have an existing financial coaching practice, one-to-one, -one. then I have my online course, which is my, my main driver, um, has pretty much all my content in there. It's a huge course. And then within that course, I'll do say webinars. You know, I do I do these private events, these private Q and A's, private workshops, hot seat coaching. Um, yep. So what you're getting at is someone like myself. If you're, if you're at my level or you have something already at play, then a mm -hmm. reverse course launch would be an added on thing that could you know help boost sales, boost revenues. Um, and in 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 my mind can increase results a little bit faster for the mm -hmm. client because you're you're live right then and there and then you're selling there so the reverse course launch you're selling what you just did that's so, right yeah okay. and so what i would say is in your case like if you have a flagship course you know yeah. that you want to, you want to sell and especially if it's above the 500 hundred dollar level the the prevailing wisdom in the industry is that if it's above 500 dollars, you probably want to launch it with a webinar 
And so at the end of that webinar, you're, you're offering the flagship course. A, uh, a reverse course launch is a little bit different in that maybe you take one element of that giant course yeah. that you want to go deep on and turn that right. into a mini course of some or some sort of ancillary yeah. uh, bonus material that would be in the course and you want to do a deep dive on that and then offer that in in the form of a mini course and so what you're doing is you're teaching that live you're giving them the ability to buy it before during and after the webinar uh, and it's man, it's really the conversions have been amazing. Like it's it's a really, really good way because I mean, essentially what you're doing is you're, you're saying, hey, look, you can register to the event and I'll teach you for free. You can take notes. I actually even produce a PDF and the event note. is free or else also paid. The event is free. No, the event is free. Yeah. Make it free. I do okay. the event for free. Uh, and then if they see the value and what part of the reason I'm doing the hard didactic right. step by step teaching is because it's just going to be too much for people to absorb. And they're going to be like, yeah, I think if, if this is something that I'm interested in, I want access to this asynchronously so that I can go back to it again and again and again and again. Gotcha. So, yeah, I, I think um, this is something that I might have put myself in a bit of a uh, uh, an, uh, an issue that I've seen with some of the participation from all of the people that enroll in my course because it's such a huge course in a way little did I know I was I was selling it like everything is in here type of thing right but then the problem with that over the years that I saw was because everything's in here people sometimes don't know where to go or right. like where to start and the course I kind of designed it in a very chronological order type of a way so right. anyone can you know just start at the beginning but you can also start wherever you want you kind of go in and get what you need when it applies to you That's so right. the disadvantage to that I think I've seen over the years is that some people never see the amazing resources that are in there that never apply to them so maybe they right. join for a few months they did you know the most preliminary basic steps and they they maybe got out of debt um, they got their credit right and maybe because I pitched it a certain way that they didn't continue on because they didn't really know right. that it could benefit them um, and so the way that I could probably and I'm pretty sure there's other course creators out there that might be suffering from this because mm -hmm. I, recently, oh, I, yeah. recently, I recently learned that there is a huge uh, a lack of participation partic participation my goodness lack of participation on the customers actually completing courses like online digital oh, yeah. courses oh, I yeah. think the, it's the, about it's about 80 20 I find in my in my in my ecosystem and I think that that's pretty uh, pretty normal um, 20 percent of the people that buy courses usually wind up going through them and, and many times not all the way through them so it's it's mm -hmm. a very interesting phenomenon and it's one of the you know if you want to know how the sausage is made in online business that's one of the things that's been very interesting I know both for you and for me yeah definitely so I like so continuing on I was listening to a financial coach and she was saying how in her program she's got over a 70% like completion rate. And I'm like, I'm nowhere wow. near that, nowhere near right. that. And, and, uh, you know, she came up with some formulas to track it and to, you know, increase that engagement. And I figured, you know what, it's not that my participation is low. I think it's just, I have such a big course that yeah. it may be time to split things up, so to speak. For sure. Um, yeah, and, and, and one of the things that you could do is continue to offer it as a huge flagship course, but right. then break off break uh, off. mini course. Yeah, and um, and then, you know, offer that, you know, you know, maybe offer the flagship course as a, an add-on or an upsell or a bonus, yeah. you know, it's really, I'm learning a lot about uh, offers, you know, how all of this stuff is in the offer and the way that we explain our offers. I just finished reading Alex Hormozzi's $100 million offers, which is a great book. Uh, and, you know, for anybody that's in digital marketing, online business, and it really, he walks through how to make the, the subtext of the book or the subtitle of the book is how to make offers so good people feel stupid for not buying them. 
you know, <laughs> and uh, and it's true. I mean, you can really do that. And so, the I think the overarching theme with what Denzel what Denzel and I are talking about right now is that online business is a there's there's a long learning curve. Like you you'll learn all yeah. the basic fundamentals. Okay, set up a blog, set up a YouTube channel, set up an email list, set up all that stuff. All right, you learn how to do stuff. You learn how to create content. But then there are all these next level, um, you know, insights that you get that you're never going to get until you do it, you know, until yeah. you actually get into it and you're interacting with other content creators and you're saying, hey, yeah, this whole reverse course launch thing. I mean, I heard it from my mentor, you know, he had tried, he had tried, you know, he'd done webinars for years, especially to launch his more flagship courses. Uh, and then he did this reverse course launch. And the first time, um, the first time that he did one, I was like so blown away at the value in it that I was like, yeah, it was a $97, you know, purchase. And I whipped out my credit card and bought it on the spot, you know, you were in. Gotcha. so it's, it's a really, really great way to utilize the webinar workshop masterclass format live teaching uh to leverage that into you know hey here if you're new to my audience or you've been in my audience for a while this is exactly what's in the course if you think it's worthy of whatever you're charging for it great you're letting them be the judge of that and it's i think it, it really elevates your credibility as a creator as well i like that 